hello. I'm back on. You guys inspired me yesterday um, to share something with you that I did in my uh, creating group, creative group, whatever you call it. Um, oh, I hope today I can see comments. It is the strangest thing. There is nothing. So I can't see anything. It's so disappointing. It's so disappointing. I can't see, I can't see anyone coming on. It's awful. So I had seen girls using their um, iPads or their computers and I hate to take that time. Shoot, I should have been prepared. I just thought surely that was just a kind of a fluke yesterday. Oh well. Anyway, so just please know that, oh wait, hi, somebody said hi, I see you. Let me get my glasses on. Oh my gosh, it's working. <laughs> Yay. Oh, it's Maria. Hello. Hello, Maria. Thank you so much for saying hi. I appreciate that. I feel better now. I was seeing all of these numbers at the top, but nothing on my screen. It just didn't seem quite right. So, all right, today, so let me put in the comments. Hopefully this will, well, I put it in the top. Actually, I put it in the description, but I'll put it again in the comments. There is a link for you guys. So really quickly, so that you guys don't waste a bunch of time watching this if it's not something that you're into, um, let me show you what I'm about to show you. So these are, uh, when I had my shop, we sold the Mona B. You guys know about Mona B. Bags made out of old truck tarps and uh, tents, um, military tents and all that stuff. So these are the Mona B bags and they were all, well, I added the, I added these flowers myself, but anyway, um, so the backside was bare. There was nothing on the backside and I hated that because, you know, it's 50, 50 when you grab up your bag to put it on your, you know, on your body is the pretty side out or is it the plain side out? So, um, I added some patches and fabrics and things to try to make the other side of my Mona B bags pretty. All right, and I wanna show, so here's the front of the one. I mean, I've had these forever. And then there's the back side. So I added a doily and then a bunch of fabric patches. And I was talking about this yesterday when we were making the carrots. And remember the, uh, uh, it's right here. Okay. So the carrot with the feather. And I was telling you guys how you could print this on your own fabric. Okay, and, and several of you ladies were asking how to do that. So, and, and here's something else that I made. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought a hat um, and I added some of my patches to a plain hat. They have all colors at Hobby Lobby. I added some, you know, antique um, little what's it's and a, and a little pin and little things like that. But for the most part, it's just the patches that really, I thought made the hat really cute and unique. So um, anyway, let me, let me just catch, let me just catch uh, comments really quick. Hi, Laurie. Hey, Rita, Rita. Oh, hello, Debbie and Mary. Hi, you guys. Okay. I was just checking because my daughter, Abby said, if she sees me on, we were gonna to try to go live together, so I wanna watch, I don't usually watch comments because I try to keep things moving. But so I wanna show you how, you know, you guys are home right now. You can order this on Amazon at the link that I just posted. Um, there's 60 of you. Not sure what you can see. From Ohio, me too, I'm from Ohio. Thank you so much for letting me know, I appreciate that. That's a lot for me. Typically I don't have that many people, so I know you guys are home looking for things to do, and this isn't really, I'm not gonna go through a craft thing with you, but I'm gonna show you how I did it, okay? Um, yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna give you a quick, sort of quick rundown. So this is the product that you would be ordering. There are six pages in here, I believe. Uh, five, five sheets. Let me see. <laughs> five sheets. Eight by, like eight and a half by 11, you know, just paper size. And you can order half sizes. Like, well, use this link to get there and then you can search around um, and see what you find. But this is what it's going to look like. It's just a piece of paper, basically. But there are lines. So see, when I crease it, there is, let's see, is it on, oh, here, it's on the other side. And so you peel this up. Let's see, where are you? So you peel that up and it's sticky. Let me show you. 
See? No hands. <laughs> like, see? It's, it's sticky. So what you're going to do is open your pack, um, peel the sticky off. Let me see if I have any that aren't done. I, I've made so many in the past here. Let me show you what I got. Let's see. Okay. So you're going to take a piece of muslin or canvas, um, drop cloth material, whatever. I've not, I haven't run the drop cloth through myself yet, but I'm sure it should go. It should go, but I use this all of the time. So, um, oh, you can't order from Amazon now? Really? I hadn't heard that, Kathy. Are you kidding? Wow. Well, put it in your cart. How about that? You can put it in your cart. I, I hadn't heard that, you guys. I went to work. Well, I didn't go to work, but I had a lady um, that needed her bathroom wallpaper changed out, and so I, I ran to her house. I didn't think she would want me to, but she did, so, you know, work calls, so I had to go. So anyway, um, that's where I was. So, so I haven't been on listening to the news today. Um, so here's a smaller piece. So let me flip you down. I'm sorry, I'm jump, I feel like I'm jumping around, not very do, doing very good today. So what you would do is I would probably uh, have my piece ironed a little bit. You wouldn't necessarily have to because, you know, a lot of us kind of like that look, and I know I do, uh, wrinkled and distressed and all the things. So you're just going to peel your, uh, your sheets off of the backing. So you guys, go ahead and place these in your cart. You could at least do that, and that way you don't have to rewatch the video or go back and try to find them because I'm going to try to do videos a little more often right now just since everyone's home and just for some happiness you know just honestly just for some happy I know that there were a few ladies that didn't like my video yesterday and kind of fussed about it on here and you know the not everyone's gonna like everything and that's fine but for the most part I think you guys enjoyed it and so I'm trying to bring happy <laughs> happy things just might not be for everybody. So I've got my paper laying here. You almost can't see it, I realize that, on white, and then I'm gonna use white again. But I'm just gonna lay my muslin down. This is why I say to iron it so that you have all of the wrinkles out. And then, oh, I don't even have scissors with me. I really don't need it. But So then, see how my paper is now sticking to the fabric? So then I just take my scissors and cut it out. And then you'll lay this in your copier. Now, when I copy, the, the side I want printed goes face down. So I would lay mine in my copier this way. And then I'll show you some of the things that I copy. Like, these are old postcards, really old lady. Um, I used to be into Victorian ladies. My friend Julie and I, we've, we do a lot of antiquing together. And so we were all in, and there's some little kids, and um, I have some florals, and then the old advertisings. These are old uh, business cards, advertising, and they can be expensive. Like, let me see, I have a price on this one. Um, well, this one was $3. This one was $6. This one was eight, that one was eight dollars. This one was three, so they're all different. Um, but they're old advertising cards, eight dollars. Love them though, they're very pretty. And then you've got floral postcards, but honestly, you guys could do anything. Let me show you, for example, for example, when I say you can do anything, let me show you. Here are some of the things that I have already, all ready to go, I just haven't, um, Done anything with them so these are those cards and I laid them all on my printer face down and then I put my paper this um, paper that I just showed you in all trimmed up face so the fabric down but however your printer works and then it just feeds right through and then you pull the um, you pull the paper off and you've got the problem that I ran into is I still have sticky on the back um, you can see kind of the dirty that's it's sticky so I stuck it to a bag, but I have all of these that are printed, all of these ads, like um, black and white, sort of, not really black and white, more vintage. My dog passed away, and I put a, a couple pictures of her that I was going to, whoops, I was going to make something of Lola, and I just, I don't know, that was too sad, so I changed my mind about that, but I still have Miss Lola in there to do something with someday. These are patches that are ready to go. You just cut them out 
And I have the paper on the back. That's the trick to get the paper off. But if you just really work at it, which there's no point, I'm gonna pull this off and show you that it's sticky. <laughs> so I don't really need to do that. But the paper's still on this one, so it's ready. The paper's still on this one, still on this one. And then you just cut out whatever you need. But you can do, um, you can, like this is the back of a book. Um, these were, I found these things on, uh, Pinterest, I believe, or Etsy, or one of those. It was a printable, and so I printed them and cut them out and did uh, Halloween things with them. Um, this is sheet music. I just took the actual hymnal and laid it face down in the book and copied it onto my transfer. Uh, it's not really, well, do they call it transfer paper? I hate to use the wrong um, terminology here. They just call it stick it. Um, yeah, they just call it stick it. But then here are some, I found an old book and it was a doctor's book and it was the copies where he had handwritten all of the prescriptions that he had given to people. Let's see if there's a date on here, how old that book was. Uh, just curious. <laughs> I don't see it, but you can tell by the writing. Oh, 1939. You can tell by the writing how old it is, but isn't that cool? I didn't have the heart to cut up the book, but I thought this was, that was just so cool and they're cool to craft with. So you can use your own imagination, but um, these are all the papers that I used to um, copy. Like all of these things are just ready to make something out of. Um, there's where I photocopied a whole bunch. So I just have these ready to go. And um, again, let me show you then what I did. So with these, with the hat, I so then I printed them just like this and I cut it out and then I pulled the paper backing off the back and so it's so i used the sticky that is there so i pulled this off and let me show you how sticky it is really like it is super where are you it is super sticky okay like that you can see and hear it so i just used the sticky from the paper and stuck it right to the hat like stuck it down however i stuck it inside here which i love because that's all plain and blah and um, you, I mean, I could add more. I didn't want to go too crazy. And then I also, you can see, I kind of ripped up my fabric just a little bit and, the, and I used my scissors and pulled it and you know made it all sort of wrinkly. And then I just, for more for look than need, and I wasn't sure if I did need it, like would I be out and, and it would come loose and curl or something. So I did really roughly so and i did it really roughly on purpose to be kind of the look so i sewed and i hate to sew so <laughs> i hate to sew but this, so it, it's not a nice sew it's a yucky sew um and then these were a good uh, actually a nice a nice sew but again it's the same thing so if you have like a denim jacket or some bibs, you know, bibs are coming back in, or bags like these, these canvas bags, or even just the canvas totes from um, Hobby Lobby. You guys could get a canvas tote from Hobby Lobby and just patch it all up. You guys could just go crazy with these. So um, I, I had four or five of you ask me about it. Um, they caught that I had mentioned it with the carrot, and so I thought I would share. So I'm gonna go back now. I screenshot all of their comments, so I'll go back now and comment back to them to catch this video. So I thought it might be nicer instead of saying, yeah, go to Amazon and order this stuff. I would kind of show you sort of how to do it. So if you have any questions or if you want me to make something, message me and I can still do that, but I think you guys got it. You just, you just, photocopy onto the fabric using this sticky backed paper and you got it. Then you just get creative and make whatever you wanna make. So is it washable? It is if you sew it down. If you just stick it like I did on the hat, I would not think it would be washable. I would think it would let go because it's not like that. It's sticky and it may still be there a little bit, but I bet it would roll on itself. So, but yes, if you sew it on there, I would think it would be. Um, I, you know, but with the ink wash off, I don't know. Oh, I didn't think about that. I was thinking about it sticking to the thing, to the whatever you're washing. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I could take it over here to the sink, Elizabeth, um, and see. Want me to do that? Um, let's see. Did I have one that I had? To, yeah, I had one. 
Um, and I know someone's probably thinking, what kind of copier? And I don't know. I just have my copier. It's an inkjet copier. I don't know what kind of ink. I don't know about that. Is it laser or inkjet? I don't know. It just It's just a copier. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the stick it people might be able to tell you if you read all of this stuff. I just got it and tried it and it worked. And so I'm not very good at that. I'm not, you know, I'm just a crafter. Hang on. I'm going to take you around with me. I hate that my kitchen, I've got a couple of dishes in my sink, but I'll take you with me. Let's just find out. I forget who asked me that, but I'm going to knock my flower. I got flowers today. I po I know that's silly to post you guys, but so many of my chocolate tour people that have been with me for three years um, know that I've been working for a new rank and I hit it. So anyway, um, I, I hit it. So I got flowers and I got strawberries and I was sharing with all of my friends. So yes, I still have a cereal bowl in here and in my toast and my sink is a mess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. I wasn't planning on you guys seeing all that <laughs> behind the scenes stuff, right? So let's see what happens when I get this wet because I have no idea. So let's just get it wet. Okay, I'm getting it wet. Looks good. I'm going to add this soap. Everybody's copier is different, so I can't say, but it's ink, you guys. It's ink. So I, I guess if you knew for sure that you really wanted it on something you were going to wash, I'm not sure you guys can hear me. If you knew it's something you're going to wash, you know what I would probably do is copy it and then heat set it. Use a heat gun or a hair dryer or an iron and heat set that ink into your fabric. But look, I'm good. And this was tea, iced tea stained, this muslin. Let's see, how can I? The light's terrible. Um, but yeah, see there? You can still see it perfectly. I think everything is fine. So whoever had that question, the answer is yes, you can wash it. I wouldn't trust the sticky. I would definitely sew it on. So there you go. That's all. That's all I have for today. But thank you guys so much for watching. Maybe I'll come up with a craft that we can do in a little bit. Um, I'll see what I have here. I do have a group that I have to tend to, so I do have a craft lined up for them um, that I'm going to do real quick. Uh, it's it's fifteen dollars a month, and I I always show the finished product here, but it, like the how to and all that's over there. So anyway, um, that's all I have. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you I hope you uh, give this a try and let me know if you have any any further questions. I'll be happy to uh, help you out. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, wait, let me see. I, I see some more questions. Hang on. <laughs> Bye to those who are done and I'll keep going. I was thinking of copying recipes on a tea towel. Absolutely, Elizabeth. I think that would work just fine. You just use the sticky on the tea towel. My only, um, let me think. I'm thinking. The only thing is remember I told you how when you peel it off, the, some of the sticky stays on there. So I th think you might be unhappy with the sticky. Like you can see the, um, can you tell? Let me see if you can tell. I can see, yeah, see that little black stuff? That's the sticky, you know, how sticky and it gets dirty. It's dirty for me trying to rub it off and get rid of it. Um, so that would be my only concern with a tea towel is that the sticky residue would maybe ruin the towel. Now you could still cut it up and craft with it, so it wouldn't be a total loss, but I, I like using that sticky to stick it to something. So, hi Debbie, you just got on and we just kind of finished, so you might have to look back if you're interested, but I'm showing them how to do um, patches on fabric. So like these patches I printed onto fabric and cut them out. So if it's something that you might be interested in, like these patches that I put on my bag. Um, so that's what this is all about. It's just really, I didn't do it because I didn't have anything that I really needed to do them on, but I thought I would show you um, some projects and tell you, kind of tell you how to. So that's what, that's what you missed. Um, maybe mount to maybe mount to, I don't, yeah, you'll have, you would have to mount the tea towel to something. I think you might be able to get that sticky off. I've never washed this stuff before. 
I didn't really read the directions. Maybe it washes off. I don't know, I'm just telling you that. But yes, good, you're gonna try. Just know that you might, oh Tammy, thank you. Just know that you might mess that, you know, it might mess up your towel. I'm just not, I'm just not sure. I hate to ruin a good towel. Um, you're very welcome, Carolyn. Very welcome. My hair, oh Debbie, thank you so much. That's so nice. My hair is so broken and, and I have a, a spot here that I always have to work with the straightener to get flat but thank you and I was looking back talking about hair I was looking back at my old I have over I have almost 650 videos on this page if you guys love crafting and you can take me for that long because I'm a lot <laughs> but you know in spurts I'm, it's okay um then you can fast forward but you go go if you're on your computer and you look to the left you'll see to the sidebar you can click on videos and you guys there are so many videos there with all this cool stuff and um so as I do things I'll try not to duplicate but I might because some of it's good and a lot of people don't like they like just to have stuff come up on their feed but there's some good stuff back there but so I was gonna say though my hairstyles oh my gosh curled short kinky wavy yucky <laughs> it's crazy oh, I was laughing at my own hair yesterday uh, hi Leslie uh, what about fabric glue uh, fabric glue would probably work Belinda I've not done it and the gal that um, she had a booth at an antique show and she did a lot of these patches and she wouldn't give it up. She wouldn't tell us how she did it and how she made her things and, and she just sold the patches. So I showed you that envelope of the kind of black and white. Those were hers and I bought them from her and was going to try to figure it out. And the lady at the booth next to her says, it's not a secret. Go get stick it and you'll be able to do it without any trouble. So I wrote it down and, and thanked her profusely and sure enough I ordered it and I did it so um yeah so I never tried the fabric glue I was trying to do what I had seen done but fabric glue probably would work it's the idea of printing it running it through your paper so you would use the fabric glue to your paper and then I don't know that it would let go like the whole the whole thing was that it let go cleanly and it did leave the residue on the back, but it was okay because I was using them as patches. But I will tell you the patches that I bought from the lady didn't have residue on it. So I am doing a step wrong. I don't know what it is, but just to give you guys a heads up, everything I've used though, the sticky has been nice to help me hold it down, whether I'm going to sew it or whatever. It's, it's held it down really good. So, um, I mean, that's really what's holding on my hat is just the sticky from the paper. And like I said, I did sew just this top part, but this, I mean, look, I'll, I'll prove it. It peels off. See, I just used the sticky from the paper. I'm not, I'm not leading you astray. I'm telling you everything I know. <laughs> so, okay, you have to watch. Yes, Diane, watch the replay. You'll catch it all. Elizabeth, I think I showed you. I think it's washable, but I don't know that you'll have the same ink as me. And I know that by selling the Chaco Tour products, when we use ink, um, we always heat set it, and that makes it permanent. So, um, I would think that if you're not sure, go the extra mile and set it with some heat. You're gonna try it. Oh, awesome, Verdana, thank you. Glad I inspired you. Um, thank you, Kathy. Uh, let's see here, you don't have to like it. Uh-oh, I got somebody being rude. I had somebody yesterday being rude. Uh, she was really rude. She had my mom really upset. <laughs> she told me to get a life. <laughs> Oh, and then somebody else says, I don't like this. <laughs> Which when I was, you know, you're reading 300 comments and trying to answer back. It took me hours. I sat in the chair. I thought, these people would not believe how long it takes to answer all these comments. And everybody was like, thank you. You know, I like it. Everyone was so positive. And then I came across this one lady and she says, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I love Oh my gosh, and then I wrote back, you're so funny or something. I don't even know. Oh well, I'm rambling now. See, I'm gonna lose everybody and I'm gonna get all the mad faces. <laughs> so, I did, I got six mad faces last night. I made people mad. I didn't mean to. Oh. Yeah, save the link or actually Debbie, I think, I mean, unless they shut Amazon down, you could at least click on the link and add it to your cart and that way you won't forget. Um, I didn't know about the no ordering. So I think I'm caught up with everybody. Yeah, I think I'm caught up. So any more questions, just post them here. I promise I'll sit and go uh, back through. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I didn't find a bad one. Maybe one of you guys blocked her for me. I don't know. I'll find her. Oh, man. It does kind of like my mom. She was so, so sad. And she says, I told her to get a life. So she says, you need to block her. So I did. I never block anybody, but I did block her. She wasn't very nice at all. So, all right, you guys, it's hard enough to come on here and do this. And then you're worried about, oh, who's going to give me a mean face? And who's going to hate me? And who's going to say bad things? It just adds to the, oh well, it adds to the excitement. You know, my, uh, I'm in a couple of business groups and they talk about when you get, they call them a troll or you get somebody that's really mean to you, let them go because all of your people watching are defending you. And so it makes all of the comment streams go more and Facebook think, oh, you got a really great video and they send it out to more people. So I don't really worry about it too. I mean, it hurts your soul inside when you're sitting and it's all over with for sure. You know, you, no one can take a, uh, not a compliment, but a rude remark and not feel like, oh, you know, bad, but you just kind of got to let it roll. So I got broad shoulders here, girls. I can take it. <laughs> so you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Yes, don't listen to the haters. I try not to. <laughs> and thank you for that sprinkle, Lisa. I appreciate it. If you like this video, you can tell your friends cut it off the end. She just yammers, but um, I think it's good. So we'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye.